time at the CHR I've had in a hell of a long time. So. Good. So, uh, how was your press night? Press night, our press night was absolutely fantastic. Um, it was just unbelievable. You know, luckily for us, we have actually been getting that reaction since we've been starting, you know, but it is press night, there's a lot more pressure. Um, and it went down just as well it's been, you know, the last two weeks. It's just been fantastic, you know. We're so lucky and hopefully, you know, this is what we're gonna get in the 12 months for me anyway. It's great. So tell me how you came to the show. Um, just like anyone else, you know, um, I auditioned. I went through a lot of rounds. I met the um, amazing Broadway um, producers and directors and choreographers. Um, and then luckily for me, you know, got offered the role, you know, which I really, really wanted because it's a fantastic role and an amazing show. So tell us, tell us about your character. Um, oh, see with Jay Stubbs, you know, he's fantastic. Um, he's got an amazing family. Um, Motormouth Mabel, played by Johnny Fury. Um, he's just a really happy-go-lucky guy. Um, takes anything that anyone throws at him. He's not got a chip in his shoulder. Um, you know, he's not... Um, he, he's, he's, he's just happy with life. And um, he's just such a great character to play. Someone, you know, so happy-go-lucky and positive. And, you know, there's so many parts out there which tend to be, like, um, you know, not as happy or very, like, you know, chip in the shoulder or, you know, bad attitude. But this is a great happy, shiny, you know, sort of character. Um, he's great, you know, I love, I love playing him. It's fantastic. Well, there's one thing as well, which is, you know, it, it pains me to say it, but, you know, sometimes when you see Brit actors playing American roles in musicals, it's, it can be tissue thin. Yeah, You're sure. just right in the pocket all the way through. I mean, because dramatically, I thought you were superb, but also you get to do some really groovy things Yeah, well. great things. And that's what I absolutely love about it. Like, um, just like as soon as I come on, you know, like, like the detention scene and the number like run until that, you know, it's, it just goes down so well, which I'm so grateful for. Um, but there again, you know, then again, it's like the writing and, you know, it's the songs and I'm just so lucky that I'm getting to sing these great songs. Um, and, you know, and also we've had like the best of the best, like, you know, Jack O'Brien and Jay Mitchell. Like, that's why it works, you know, they're, they're like, they're, they're so good to work for and, and they're really um they're very supportive and you know you and you feel like you're allowed to like make mistakes and you know and you just feel they, they give you so much leeway um you know when you've got people working like that around you it just makes it so much easier like when you first go in that room and you see them all there it can be quite intimidating but but they just they take you with open arms and um that's why the show works and that's why it's worked for me you know because they've just been so supportive and been so amazingly helpful you know, when they go back, I'm going to miss them, like, dearly. They've been great, like, for all of us. It's been fantastic. Now, of course, you've had to share a lot of stage time with Leanne. Yes. So, which I can scarcely countenance the notion that this is her first professional This gig. is Leanne Jones' first job. Like, if, if you know, you've seen her here first. She is fantastic. I've never worked with anyone. Like, she's so hardworking. She's, she's so gentle. She's such a generous actress. Um, she's adorable. She's real. Um, Honestly, she, she's amazing, she's great, and she's just taken, she's taken this role and everything about it so well. She just takes everything on board, like, she's not really panicked or not really, it's a huge role. You know, like, we've all been nervous, and you know, I know, I, you know, I was nervous, like, tonight, and, but she was just, she's just, she's just taken everything on so well, and um, I think she's got a great career ahead of her. She's just fantastic, and she's, and it's so, like, refreshing, you know, and she's young, and she's just come out of college, and she's so good, and she's taken on board everything, and she's so nice and so talented, you know, it's, yeah, she's fantastic. She's I just great. thought the two of you were just beacons of euphoria. The audience absolutely loved you. It was powerful. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, I mean, I know that you're not in the, the top five on the cast and stuff like that, but you really excel. Thank you. It's, a, it's more than a notable film. Oh, thank you very much. Well, I must let you go. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, the story. Oh, of course, just let me ask you one more question, if I can, just very briefly for our viewers. Can you just praise the story of the show? Just tell us what the show's about. Yeah, um, you know, basically, um, Hairspray set in 1962. Um, it's basically um, based around um, a young girl called um, Tracy Turnblad, who's got dreams to um, dance on a TV show. Um, but uh, the TV show only takes on like you know thin, pretty like girls. I um, just wants to break the barrier by dancing on the show. She's um, a slightly larger girl, um, but through um, those dreams, she also meets um, seaweed, and she wants to dance the show with him, but obviously can't. So the show's basically about a young girl um, who wants to dance on a TV show with her friends of all races um, and sizes, and um, it's her journey really. Fantastic. That's actually rubbish.